Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I hope everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and do an update on the whole Cardi B roommate situation, okay? So if you guys remember a few days ago, I had posted a video of a woman who claimed to be Cardi B's roommate. And at that point in time, I never stated her name. I never showed you guys her Instagram page because I wanted her to be safe. I didn't want folks running and finding her and trolling her. But of course, other people didn't think like that and they blasted her information all over the net, okay? So of course, people ran to go find her. Um, they started finding all types of information. And when I tell you, I have been sent so many receipts from so many different people, everything from Barty Gang to other Nicki Minaj barbs were even sending me receipts. Even people who are neutral, who are spiritualists, were sending me receipts about this girl, okay? People who were conscious, who were from the conscious community, and who remembered her from running behind Dr. Sabi, okay? So this entire situation is crazy. I wanna go ahead and break down all of these receipts to you guys. Again, like I always tell you guys, I don't create the news, okay? I just simply go off of what's trending, what's viral, and I share that with my audience. We are here to sip tea and watch all the fuckery unfold, okay? That's what we do here on this channel. So when I posted the video, I never thought that it was gonna go viral, that it was gonna be all over the blogs and everything else, but since then it has. So of course people started digging up a lot of stuff about this woman named Star Marie, okay? And a lot of the stuff that I saw over the past few days, because I'm not gonna race to go do a video, one, I have to prove that all these screenshots are accurate and that they're real. Because as we all know, these fandoms like to Photoshop and they'll say, oh, Cardi B said this or Nicki Minaj said this. And then when you really dig into it, neither one of the people said that, okay? So I didn't want to put out any false information. I wanted to make sure I did my research, make sure that these screenshots were real, make sure these videos were real. And sadly, they are. So at this point in time, I'm truly giving this girl the side eye because one of the things that she said um, in her live stream is that she's not a model, she's not an actress, she's not a rapper, she doesn't have a CD coming out. She doesn't want any fame from this. Okay, I've been called the opportunist now and I'm trying to figure out how. I don't rap, I don't act, I don't sing, I don't model. I don't do any of this shit. I don't even have portfolios, I don't have pictures, I haven't been on any auditions. I'm trying to figure out what am I going to gain, like, what opportunity am I looking for by telling the truth? Like, you people make no sense to me. <laughs> but since then, I've noticed that now that more people have been following her, now she's made her page private, but I remember initially she had about maybe, I want to say five, 6,000 when I had recorded her live stream, and now she's up to about 30,000. One of the things I noticed is that she just keeps talking about Cardi B. She keeps talking about the situation. And then yesterday, a video was sent to me of her saying that she's trying to get onto the Queen radio. Yo, check this out. Tell Cardi B that I'm willing to take a public lie detector. Why spend money on fake blogs and fake dates and fake account when it comes to me, when you could just spend money on a lie detector? Matter of fact, I'll pay for my own portion of the lie detector and she could pay for hers. And we could end this shit right here. Let's go to Queen Radio and take the lie detector. And to me, that makes no sense. If you're trying to be neutral, if you're just trying to tell your truth, why go on to Queen Radio? And I have gotten DMs from other people stating that Nicki Minaj's peoples had reached out to them trying to get a hold of this woman. And I'm not saying that Nicki Minaj is behind that. I'm not saying that Nicki Minaj is even trying to reach out to her. But there are people who are saying that they're from Nicki Minaj's camp trying to interview her, okay? So what I wanna do is go ahead and show you guys all these receipts that I have of this Star Marie chick who claims to be Cardi B's ex-roommate. Cardi B definitely addressed this situation on social media. Not only did people post old videos of Cardi B stating how she got her job at Sue's and in the strip club, they posted that. And then Cardi B also showed pictures of the stripper girls that she hung out with, that she worked with in the club. And she's basically saying that, you know, just because we worked in the same club together, just because we're in the same industry, does not make us roommates, does not make us friends. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos of Cardi B talking and also these Instagram clips. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary.
I did a lot of applications online. Two weeks later, I got a job, you know, in the supermarket. And it wasn't good enough, but it wasn't good enough. So I had to stay with my first boyfriend because I had nowhere. I had nowhere with nowhere to go. I didn't really even have a cell phone because he broke it. We used to argue and fight a lot. And it's just like, I do not want to live like this. I don't want to live in somebody's mother's house. I don't want to, like, wait till this guy make money so I can eat. I don't want none of that. But, um, you know, I got fired from the supermarket. And the manager told me, like, you have such a nice body. You should go across the street. Because I was telling him, like, please, you need to help me. I don't want to get fired. And he told me, you need to go across the street. He, don't say, he didn't say you need to. He just, like, suggested it. And he said, I'll help you. I'll take you there. And I went. And what I made... What I made in a week. All right, so you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. So like I said, a lot of the stuff that Star Marie has been posting, a lot of the things that people have found about her, a lot of these receipts are basically not showing her in a good light. Something's not cleaning the buttermilk. And like I said, I would never sit on some information like this just to keep a story going. I'm going to be fair to all parties, okay? I let Star Marie, you know what I'm saying, say what she had to say in her live stream. I posted that. Now I'm going to post the receipts that other people are sending me showing this girl out to be a liar. So then you guys can make your own decisions. So I'm going to show you guys some of the back and forth between me and a few people in my DMs and screenshots that they sent. Go ahead and check this out. So on one screenshot I was sent, this is what Star Marie says. She says, LOL, I really wasn't trying to strip from the beginning, but of course you know my personal issues and you played on that and tried to hurt me. I super dare you to try coming after me. I got something for you this time. So she wrote that, and of course, um, one of my fans who's also a Barty Gang member says she claims that Cardi B tried to recruit her, but if you guys remember in the video, she stated that she got Cardi B the job. So which one is it? Did you get Cardi B the stripping job, or was it that Cardi B looked out for you? And I guess she told um, Caramella about me, which is Bacardi. Her name was Caramella at the time, Cardi B, about me. And I was like, well, why don't you come to Sue's? You can make more money there. And it's faster. She was like, but I don't think they're going to hire me. Because, you know, she her teeth was all messed up back then. She really didn't have good hair. She was kind of just really like, you know, she was low-key downtrodden. And I felt bad for her. You know, I don't look down on nobody. If you're trying to get some money and you around me and I could get you some money, I'm going to look out for you. So then she goes on to say, bye. Lust happened way after Sue's. No pics with you. You damn right. I was always too much woman to snap a pic next to your herpes infested ass. Um, then she goes on to say this. You mad at me because you couldn't recruit me? I was out shining your ass on every level. That is exactly why you're going around beating up innocent girls. So it's all types of different things that she's saying. But what doesn't make any sense is how do you live with somebody for several months? You guys claim to be, you claim that she's your really good friend and you don't have not one picture with her. And especially being that Cardi B is the type that, you know, she's on social media all the time. She's addicted to social media. And this girl has not one picture with Cardi B. And she's even admitting that she has no pictures with Cardi B. That's weird. Especially when you're a roommate. You mean anytime they never took like a picture at happy hour or, you know, just in the hood, you know, posing or outside of the strip club. I find that very strange as well. And then there's other tweets showing that she doesn't have a job. And so people are saying that she must be looking for, that she's definitely looking for a come up. She's since tried to delete some of these pictures from what I'm hearing. She's also made her page private. But in this screenshot, she's saying, so I'm still working on my book. And let me tell you, it takes focus. This is a self-help book, not a novel, not a biography. I'm writing an informative. So far, so good, guys. I didn't quit and I'm still doing it. Here goes another one where she gets 20 likes. Where she has 20 likes and she says the life of a book writer, self-help publications take focus and lots of research. This is not something anyone can just walk up and steal from you. This is the type of journey that truly begins with the mind. I'm hoping I'll be done before Thanksgiving for real. I've been going at it every night. I'm making my old parents very proud of me with my newfound shenanigans. This is what she wrote five days ago before she started blasting Cardi B on social media. Now, the most damaging of all is the fact that, you know, now all of a sudden there's pictures of her with an album cover, 
saying that she has to get a bag. Um, there's also videos of her rapping. So a lot of people are calling her out for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these videos of her rapping, even though she claimed that she's not a rapper and that, you know, she's not trying to rap. These videos were literally just from a few months ago to a year ago. These are not videos from like 2012, 2013. These videos are as recent as 2017. Check this out. They be thinking cause a bitch pretty, she don't ride with toasters. Might had a ratchet in a jacket on the show, the holster. I'm starting to replay a position like a whole supposed Ain't no money on my head like a wanted poster. When I get horny, sit on faces like a grumpy chauffeur. And I'll be damned if I'm fucking on a nigga with nothing to show for. Cause I always get what I want. I dig out a nigga's pocket while he puffin' the blood. You be looking for that star in the nighttime. Cause I got the bright shine. Just a nigga even tops. Is it worth the lessons? Cause you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Wondering if rap was my curse or my blessing. My confession to get away from life's oppression. Five mics a session. I gotta palm these weapons. Cause these bitches act tripe. And I keep them guessing. But my name ring bells. Niggas know me at a glance. Cause I make love to the beast like true romance. I could do this on my own. I don't need to have a man got these bitches. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw those videos of Star Marie rapping her ass off, honey. I can't tell that she don't want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? She has a lot of songs in her bag. But now, if that's not damaging enough, here goes the bombshell that everybody's talking about behind the scenes on Instagram. Go ahead and check this out. So in this post that was just posted this year, April 7th, from San Jose, Costa Rica, she says, I'm not a hater, but how the fuck this lame ass bitch Cardi B got a record deal, yo? A bitch like me bust ass every day and I ain't got shit for real. Cardi's straight whack, yo. She's a bitch. If you knew her, she'd be stuck up. I wish I knew her so I could show her what a rapper really about for real, for real. No bullshit. I would ghostwrite for her if the price was right. That bitch just came up because she's Spanish. If that bitch was black, she'd have to suck mad dicks to get on top that fast. So in that post, it sounds like somebody's hella pressed, okay? So I'm confused, okay? You claim to know Cardi B. This is what you said in your live stream. She was your roommate. She looked out for you. You moved in with her. But then in this post from April 7th of 2018, just a few months ago, you literally said that you don't know her and that you're willing to be her ghostwriter for contradicting yourself because on this live stream, that went viral all over social media. You're saying that she was your roommate and you knew her. But in this post that people dug up, that's an authentic post, okay? This was not Photoshop. This was not fake. This is a post that she wrote. And in this post, she's saying that she doesn't know Cardi B and that she wants to be her ghostwriter, meaning that she's still interested in doing music at 40 years old. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but you have to get into the game a lot younger. I don't know a lot of 40 plus year old brand new rappers, okay? Most rappers get into the game into their 20s and then they keep on going until they're like, you know, into their mid to late 30s. I've never heard of anybody starting their rap career at 40, but obviously she still wants to be a rapper because in that Facebook post, she stated such, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, um, a lot of folks said that they also recognize that she looked familiar. And as we all know, she says that she's a spiritual healer, she's a vegan, she's into spirituality and healing and stuff like that. Those are things that she was saying in that live stream, okay? So now people were able to put two and two together and they found a video of her with Dr. Sebi before Dr. Sebi passed. And even one of the commenters in the comment section is saying that they remembered this video being on YouTube a few years ago and the title was Dr. Sebi and his hoes. So I'm like, what the hell is really going on? So it seems like she kind of attaches herself to just random people because it's very weird that she goes from being with the likes of Cardi B 
to being with the likes of Dr. Sebi. Like that just doesn't even, it doesn't make any sense. So you have videos with you and Dr. Sebi, but not one picture of you and Cardi B. Make it make sense in my damn skinny Monique voice, okay? Y'all go ahead and watch this video of Star Marie with Dr. Sebi. Check this shit out. <laughs> So how do you, so what, what's wrong with broccoli? Back in a thousand. Here. What's wrong with broccoli, Bobo? I'll get it for you. You want me to record you? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Tell, tell me about broccoli, Bobo. Broccoli. <laughs> being that it's hybrid, unnatural, mm -hmm. incomplete molecular structure. Okay. It should not be consumed by humans because... The molecular structure is incomplete. It's an acid-based vegetable. Okay. If it if broccoli was made by nature, I would be eating it. But there are other products that aren't made by nature, but they are not poisonous as broccoli. Okra is one. Spinach is another. All right, so you guys just saw that video of her and Dr. Sabi. Now, before you barbs get excited, and I know Nicki Minaj, I know you watch all my shit, okay? Before you get excited and go run to go interview this girl and put her on Queen's radio to be messy, realize that she's also drug your ass for the filth as well, okay? On top of Cardi B, she's also said a lot of disparaging things about Nicki Minaj. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what she had to say about Nicki. Go ahead and check this out. So she says, these bitches like Nicki Minaj is straight trash. I have more bars than her, and I don't need fake tits and a fake ass to make it to the top. I got that straight fire. And as you notice, she also likes her own status, which I just find weird, okay? So anyways, what I'm gonna do now is show you guys a slideshow of just even more receipts, you know what I'm saying, of this girl and her hypocrisy and just things that are not sitting well with people. These are factual receipts. These are real comments, real things that she posted on social media. And to me, in a lot of these posts, she comes off as angry. She comes off as bitter. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say that this girl is crazy, that she's lying. And I'm talking about some big name people have reached out to me to tell me that she's lying flat out. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm going to put all the information out there. You guys watched her live stream. Now here goes the rest of the proof that a lot of people are saying shows this woman's real character. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. You guys be the judge.
All right, so you guys just saw all of those Facebook posts, Twitter messages, you know what I'm saying, Instagram messages. You guys saw all the receipts that people were able to gather on this woman. So like I said, something's not cleaning the buttermilk, okay? Initially, she seemed like she was coming off sincere, but now that all of this information is coming out and the fact that she's begging to go on Queen's radio, it makes me give her the side eye. And I know a lot of folks have been reaching out to her and things like that, but like I said, she has some explaining to do as far as everything goes with these messages with these tweets with her saying that she doesn't know cardi b with her dissing Nicki minaj but, but now you want to go on queen radio so to me in my personal opinion she's coming off like a cloud chaser you know at the end of the day i don't know what this girl's agenda is she's a beautiful woman she seems very articulate she seemed very sincere initially but part of me feels like, you know, I have to be honest that she's clout chasing because now that all these messages and posts have come out, you know what I'm saying, I have to look at her differently. And my thing is, what is the end game here? And it's really sad that people, you know, try and come on and get famous and, you know, go viral and get books made and, you know, get their career popping off the ground by taking shots at other people and bringing other folks down, okay? So all I'm doing here is bringing you guys the receipts that I was given by many people, not just, you know, Cardi B fans, also Barb's, also people from the conscious community sent me stuff as well. So this is information I've been given from many different people. But now that all this other information is coming out, you definitely have to second guess everything that she says. You definitely have to second guess anything that she posts. You know what I mean? Until she brings real receipts showing that she knew cardi that she lived with cardi you know people who can verify this i'm giving this chick the side eye okay we've seen too many incidences of people you know jumping on viral stories and trying to attach themselves to it and this is the vibe i'm getting from this chick okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation concerning Cardi B's alleged roommate. How do you guys feel about all the information I presented? Do you guys feel like she was being sincere in that video and you guys are still standing by her? Or do you feel like there's a lot of receipts in this video that's making you give her the side eye, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.